some rules. And so we have to get to know it. Church, that is why God said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. He didn't say my people perish because the devil is strong. No, what is destroying them is lack of knowledge. If they will take time to know the laws, my spiritual principle, no devil stands before them. So they are not destroyed because of the devil. They are being destroyed because they lack knowledge. And Isaiah, I think Isaiah 5 also put it the same way. My people are born into captivity for they have no knowledge. He didn't say they are in captivity because the devil is strong and he's holding them. No, they have no knowledge. That is why they are in captivity. But we are free in Jesus' name. Amen. So the subject of faith is, is very, very important. Very, very, very important. And this is because faith is our access to the realm of glory it is our access to the realm of glory it is our access to the realm of glory you know today i'm just trying to enlighten you on how important faith is and god willing next week we are going to go into the law the the, the law of faith and how to apply it i see you dangerously breaking through and succeeding this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Faith is our access into glorious realm. Faith is our access into glorious realm. If you can believe him, if you can take him by his word, if you can practically walk in that which you see not yet you believe, then you are really ready for higher realm. Praise God. Because the only thing about us that moves God is our faith. You know your prayer doesn't move him. It is your faith in the prayer that moves him to answer the prayer. I told you about, was it last Wednesday when I said uh, a lady spoke with me and the things that she said, after she finished talking, I said, you know, the way you have been talking tells me that God will not do one thing in your life. Because everything she was nagging and complaining and murmuring and, you know, Pastor, why me? And Pastor, me this? And Pastor, that? Then they are even going to throw me out of my apartment. They will repossess my car and this and my, the creditors are on my day and I can't do anything and life is me. I was quiet as they keep on singing. And this is somebody who is in the church every Sunday. And every word that comes out of his mouth. Because people don't even understand the mysteries in the power of the tongue. When the Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. And those that love the fruit thereof shall eat it. Whether positive or negative. The one you want, you will eat that one. May you never eat the power of death in your tongue. In Jesus name. So faith is our access into glorious realm. And we are ready to manifest gloriously. So you have to know faith plays an important role. You cannot manifest gloriously without faith in God. You can't. So next week, God willing, as the Spirit of God takes us into the law, you are going to see some things. I mean, some of us are going to see whether we've been operating in faith or we've been operating in a, some elusive uh, something. And we thought it was fit. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. In the book of John 11, let's read it. I like that account. John 11, 39. John 11, and uh, let's read from 39. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone, Martha. And take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinks, for he has been dead four days. Let's go on. And Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shalt see the glory of God. That is why faith is our access into the glorious realm. Jesus, forget it. By now, he stinks. He's decayed. He's been buried for four days. 
Jesus didn't care about the situation. He said, didn't I tell you that if only you can believe, you will see the glory. If only you can believe, condition is put there. If only you can believe. It doesn't really matter the, how the situation looks like. If only you have faith, like a master seed, to believe, then you will see the glory. Buried for four days, that is not above God. If only you can believe him, then you will see the glory. So what is it that makes you cry? What situation, is your situation more than this? I mean, is it worse than somebody who is buried for four days? Are you buried? So you see the problem we are having here. If only, did I not tell you, if only you will believe, you will see the glory. You want to see the glory? The condition is not shouting and screaming. Believe it. Can you believe God? Can you look at the face of that adverse situation that has been standing there for years? Can you look at it and say, God, I believe. I believe. 